Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Anthony from AJT Jewelry here. Hope you guys are well and you're enjoying the videos that I'm posting up. But I wanted to bring something different today. Um, this is an homage watch to the Rolex Deep Sea Challenge. This uh, particular piece took me a while to find an exact replica of the watch, given the fact that the original ones, there was only a couple made um, and they're all in museums. And I believe the one of them is actually in James Cameron's possession because this particular watch was taken um, to the bottom of the Marianas Trench in 2012. Um, Rolex made this watch for James Cameron to obviously test and push the limits to dive watches. I mean, this is the ultimate dive watch, um, which did go down to the bottom of the Marianas Trench. The watch was attached with the bracelet, a huge bracelet on the arm of his submarine. Um, and obviously the submarine, if you've seen the documentary, um, the, um, the arm on the submarine actually comes up and you can see the watch at that depth when he hits the bottom of the Marianas Trench and it was still ticking. Luckily enough though, he did get some footage of the watch ticking underwater because the arm actually stopped working, believe it or not, it malfunctioned. So he was lucky enough to get that footage, but it's all on Discovery Channel and probably can Google it as well on YouTube. But um, anyway, back to this watch. So I've been wanting, I've wanted to find a, a, an homage to this piece for so long and I found one and it's always just good to have something like this in your collection. You know, just a bit of history, you know, you could hand down to your kids or, or your family members because it is, it's pretty rare, even the replicas you can't even get anymore. So this is a pretty special piece in my collection. This one is a Swiss replica. It has a Swiss movement in the, in the watch. I'm not sure of the water resistance. So I wouldn't want to take this thing diving, but the original I'm sure was obviously certified for 12,000 meters, which was the bottom of the Marianas Trench. And I'm sure it was certified for even deeper than that. I mean, these watch, the original watch would have definitely gone further than that, but so the sapphire crystal here, it's very, very thick just because of the water pressure that it would have had to have gone through. The case itself is really thick. It's 28.5 millimeters, this particular case here. Let me just double check that. I'll get my calipers out here. Let's have a look, shall we? This is the top of the crystal, correct? 28 millimeters so it is very thick um, the width of the case is 51.4 meter uh, millimeters in diameter so let's get the calipers on there and I'll get my calipers on there so you go 51 and obviously with the crown it's about 56 millimeters so it is huge for a Rolex their biggest one was the deep sea deep sea uh, Rolex is about 44 millimeters, so this is enormous compared to that. There is an enormous weight to this watch. This particular watch is stainless solid stainless steel. The bracelet is solid, and you can see the links are all screws here. The adjusters I've I've adjusted this to my wrist size. It does have the original Rolex adjustable dive clasp here. So you open this, and you can open this little mechanism here, so you can see there and you can adjust that. And it's also this little clip here. I won't pull that out. And uh, you can adjust it to your size. So I'll clip that back in, so you like that. And then you obviously open this up here and you can adjust it there. You can see all the engravings there. And also a cool little mention is inside the actual case, Rolex laser engraved the year which was 2012. You can just see it there on the original watch. They engraved 2012, which was the year they went to the bottom of the Marianas Trench. You can see it there. And as you go around, there's Rolex laser engraved. It's a bit hard to see because the crystal is so thick. There you go, you can see it there. Awesome watch. So you can see the 2012 there and obviously this watch is um, has the uh, the date. You know, you've got your minute, your hour, and your second. Really easy to wind. It is an automatic watch, so I don't know if you can hear it because the case is so thick. 
So yeah, and overall, and this is, by the way, is a ceramic bezel on this watch with the loom. It does have a great loom on this particular watch. There's the case back, the Rolex case back there, which is enormous. It's a beast of a watch. And one cool thing I wanted to show was the weight. Get my, my scales out here. So I'll put this bad boy on here. And if you can see that it's 294 grams of stainless steel, so it's huge. There you go. So it is a heavy watch. And I guess the most important thing now is to throw this bad boy on the wrist. And as you guys probably know, I'm a huge fan of huge watches. So there it is on my wrist. I have a seven and a half inch wrist, not a small wrist. And this thing sits really comfortable. It doesn't sit too proud. So I've got bigger watches than this. There is an Invicta replica of this particular watch, which I should do a comparison on, but um, it sits really comfortable and it's not too heavy. It goes well with the large line signet ring I'm wearing. Perfect match. So yeah, guys, this is the Rolex Deep Sea Challenge homage right here. And um, it would be great to see the original one, um, which I'm sure is in museums around the world eventually, but uh, this will do for now in my collection. But maybe one day we'll definitely have to get the real one from Rolex and get them to custom make me one. <laughs> All right, guys, make sure you like the video um, and um, you know, subscribe to the channel because I love talking about jewelry, obviously, and watches because they're my passion. So this is the Rolex Deep Sea Challenge. Thanks so much for sticking around, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and um, I'll post some cool pieces up um, in my collection over the next few weeks. All right, guys, take care. Peace.